guys, my name is Patricia, also known as God's Sign One here on YouTube, and welcome to my channel. I want to take the time out today to share with you guys what I bring in my makeup bag when I'm traveling. You guys know that I'm a travel nurse, so traveling is part of my job. I do it a lot. Not only that, I just like to travel, period. I just flew in back into LA, spent the whole day at the airport. And yeah, I just, I feel like I live at the airport these days. But anyway, that's besides the point. I wanted to share with you guys what my go-to products were as far as makeup is concerned. So I usually, I used to carry three makeup bags, but now I only carry two. I did have to downgrade a bit because I was one of those type of people that feel like, oh my gosh, I need, I need everything. But of course I can't carry all the makeup that I own. It's just not possible. I have these two bags. I'll share with you guys what they look like. I don't remember where I got this one. I think I got it at Target for maybe like $10. And then I also have this one right here and I got this one from Walmart. And yeah, so I'll share with you guys. I don't know if I'll be able to get through all of it because it is quite a bit. So I'm going to talk fast and move quick. So I'm going to go through this back first. Let's start with foundation. Now foundation, you guys know, um, is one of my favorite makeup items. Um, next to lipstick, lipstick and foundation are my fit, absolute favorite things. So I do travel with three different foundations. Yes, I know. I, I, I'm sorry. I, I love foundation. So the first foundation that um, I travel with is the Lancome Tentidol Ultra 24 Hour Makeup. This foundation was featured in my top high-end foundations. So definitely go ahead and check out that video. I'm going to leave a link to it down below. There I share all my top favorites from the department stores and the high-end brands. This one is very, very dependable. Like I said, it's 24-hour, long-lasting. It does well in all types of weather. It's really, really long-lasting. So if you know you're going to have a long day, especially when you're trying, you know you're going to be all day like I travel from the East Coast all the way to the West Coast so that's a full day experience in the air and in the airport so this is the type of foundation that you need because it will last you the next one was also featured in my top high-end foundations video and this is the Estee Lauder double wear stay in place makeup I take this foundation everywhere I go it's the foundation I have on right now if that if you guys are wondering it looks beautiful on camera so if I know I'm gonna be going to a wedding where I'm going or I know I'm gonna be going out or going on dates it gives me the complete flawless look without making me look too cakey there's no flashback it does well on my skin tone um, it's just beautiful guys I mean I honestly I love this foundation I have combination of oily skin and this one definitely stands the test of time but it is long-lasting not as long-lasting as the tinted oil but I do like this this finish it's beautiful my color in this one is rich chestnut and my color in this one is 470 suede for reference I am an NC 50 in Mac the last foundation that I um, travel with and this is a new addition to my travel makeup bag is the um, black up uh, mattifying fluid foundation this is a black owned company their products are absolutely amazing I demoed this foundation in one of my videos and I'll leave a link to that one down below as well the next product that I cannot travel without is another black up product and this is their contouring stick the number that I use is three I also use this to contour uh, today I absolutely love it on one side you have your contour shade and on the other side you have your highlighting shade absolutely beautiful love this thing cannot travel without it um, I just love the look of cream contouring it just looks so I don't know just so airbrushed just so I, I love it I love it base powders Estee Lauder double wear is a double yeah double wear stay in place powder okay and the color I also wear is uh, rich rich chestnut this was a recommendation actually it wasn't a recommendation I saw Ghana goddess 05 you know my girl Michelle I saw her wearing this and I decided to try it and I actually really really like it the other powder that I cannot travel without is my uh, Ben Nye luxury powder and banana another powder that I cannot live without is the L'Oreal True Match Powder. <clears throat> Here's another powder that I cannot travel without, and that is the L'Oreal True Match Powder. I absolutely love this one. This color is an N8, that's neutral eight. This is the best product, in my opinion, that L'Oreal does. <laughs> I love this powder, cannot travel without it. Blushes, now blushes, I actually change out depending on what season it is. So I'll just go ahead and show you guys what I'm traveling with right now. I'm traveling with NARS's Exhibit A. Very, very nice bright color for the season. I'm also traveling with La Femme's um, Cinnabar. And that is like a terracotta color with some shimmer in it. Very, very pretty, very light, 
good spring, like it's a nice spring blush. And the last blush, no matter what season it is, I cannot leave the house without it. And that is the Lancome blush in Plum Noir. And that's what that, oh, it's so pretty, so pretty. The color that I actually have on my cheeks right now is this one, the La Femme Cinnabar. Concealer, I travel with the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer, and I also travel with the Maybelline Fit Me. I cannot leave the house without this one. This is a, a must, must have, because this is what I actually use for my brows, okay? The um, Maybelline Fit Me. Okay, as far as skincare, it's the It's Potent Eye Cream by Benefit. And then I also have in here a lip exfoliator and that this one is from So Posh Beauty. I just like to travel with this just to make sure that my lips are exfoliated. And then I also have an all-in-one acne control facial treatment. And I use this to kind of spot treat anything that may come up on um, my face unexpectedly. I also have this eyelash curler in here and a sharpener for my pencils. Let's go ahead and move on to this bag right here. I have brushes in here mostly and I'm just gonna tell you most of the, the brushes that I have are from Sigma and Sedona Lace. So that's just to let you know but the one brush I can definitely highlight in this video that I think is a must-have is a blending brush. And the one that I really, really like is by Sigma, and it's the E40. A lot of YouTubers like this. Let's go ahead and move on to lipsticks. Most of them are MAC, but I do have some drugstore in there. This first one is called Up the Amp, and it just so happens to be the lipstick that I have on my lips right now. I love this lipstick. Love it. As you guys can see, it's purple. Um, oh, it's just beautiful. I love it. The next one is uh, Flat Out Fabulous, and that's what that looks like. I don't know if you guys can see that, yeah. Beautiful, beautiful, rich pink. And then the next one here is Pure Heroin. I really like Pure Heroin. It's like the regular heroin, but darker. Very, very pretty. And then I also have Candy Yum Yum, and these are all by MAC, by the way, which is this one's a bright, bright, bright highlighter pink which I'm sure you guys are familiar with. From the drugstore, I have another purple, and this one is Taboo by Iman. One of my all-time favorite colors. As you guys can see, it's a lot deeper and more blue than um, Pure Heroin. I also have Milani's Matte Passion, okay? And that is a bright orange matte. And then I have Touch of Spice by Maybelline, and this is also from their matte collection. I wear this one quite a bit. It's like, like a mauve pink nude type of color. Two Faces, better than Sex Mascara. You guys already know how I feel about that. I have some Blistex in here. I have a nail file. I have another spot treater for any acne or anything that may come up, and this is the Clinique Acne Solutions. This is a sample size. Night Moth by MAC Lip Liner, an absolute must-have for women of color in my opinion. I do not travel without this one. Well, ooh, one more lipstick that I forgot was uh, Ruby Woo. I never travel without Ruby Woo, y'all know that already. And for these brows, to keep these brows together, I use the Anastasia Brow, Brow Wiz, and this color that I have this time is uh, dark brown, is that what I said? So yeah, dark brown. And then my eyeshadow primer of choice is the Behind the Scenes Eyeshadow Primer by Lorac, which is my absolute fave as well. I travel with the Duo Adhesive Eyelash in Dark Tone, and I also travel with the Revlon Precision Lash Adhesive. I really, really like this one. It really, like, it, it keeps your lashes on, that your lashes ain't going nowhere. I also always travel with Demi with Speed eyelashes. It, it's an absolute must, and this one is from Ardell, but it doesn't matter to me. Favorite highlighter at the moment, and the only highlighter that I travel with, and it's by Black Up. This color is in the number three. Absolutely beautiful uh, on the cheeks. I wish I could show you guys what it looks like. Here, let's, let's do this. Can you guys... Ooh, ooh, ooh. You see what, did you see what it just did? Did you see that? I can never travel without liquid eyeliner. I do not have this particular brand that I like, to be completely honest. I buy a new brand every time I, 
I, I'm just not, I don't, I'm not attached to any one brand, but one thing I must tell you is I prefer a brush applicator over the felt tip. This one is by L'Oreal and it's in the color Carbon Black. This is their L'Oreal Linear Intense Eyeliner. And then my favorite, like, cold pencil liner is the 24 hour glide on by urban decay this color is in perversion it's just so intense it's so let me see if i could get ooh, ooh. see there it is you see how black that is do, do you see do you see this oh i also have a few real techniques uh brushes that i travel with i know i told you guys sigma and and sedona lace but i do have two or three actually real techniques real technique brushes that I travel with. I almost forgot to show you guys my palettes. Naked One, I must travel with, okay? Naked One is my favorite naked palette. No, yeah, it's between one and three. New Tube palette from The Bomb. Sometimes I will switch out my palettes as well. Another palette that I really like to travel with is the Lorac Pro One, the first one. I love to travel with that one and also Naked 3. Between those four, it's any combination of those four palettes. So yeah guys, that's it. That's what I had to bring to you guys today. I hope that was helpful um, because it's in essence a favorites type of video because you know, when you have to make the decision to pick only a few things, what do you choose? And so these are the products that I choose to travel with. Let me know if we have anything in common. Do you travel with these same products or do you have you know your favorites let me know what those are down below I'll be looking forward to hearing from you guys hit me up on Twitter Instagram Facebook and on my vlog channel I'll be looking forward to seeing you guys over there as well the links will be down in the description bar as usual and I'll see you guys next time in another video and as always God bless so many